Hi everyone, it's Dr. Jane from drjanemade.com. Um, as promised, today I'm going to be talking about hypertension, high blood pressure. I'm going to be sharing with you tips and strategies to reduce your blood pressure. I know um, a lot of people don't really want to leave them yard or don't want to leave them home to have to come out to sit in a doctor's office. Um, so it's really important that we keep our health up to scratch, right? And I'm going to be showing you some stuff that will really, really help to control the blood pressure. And maybe even one day you come off your medications, right? And this is, these are things that I've used with great success in my patients. This is the gen med way, you know, we all know that high blood pressure, you know, the blood pressure refers to how hard the heart has to pump that blood around your body. And, you know, we use machines to measure that, right? Now, the first thing I want to say is that once you've been told you have high blood pressure, it is important that you invest in a blood pressure machine. You have to buy a blood pressure machine. We cannot talk. We cannot argue about this. We are not discussing this. You need to get one. They are sold in the local pharmacies. And you can go on Amazon after all of this corona done <laughs> and buy one for as cheap as 25 US dollars or less, right? But you need to get a blood pressure machine. So we all, we've heard so much about hypertension, you know, the associations with it being in your family, the genetics, um, with a sedentary lifestyle, smoking, liquor, diabetes, all of those things, right? But one of the most important associations with hyper, hypertension or high blood pressure is stress is stress and i think we kind of minimize stress so much because you know there's no pill for stress you know but i have found that stress is probably the most important cause of high blood pressure and stress chronic stress comes in many forms it's not just why money stress or spouse stress or picnic stress it comes in many many forms all right and so today i kind of want to give you some gems that will really really help i don't even think i'm going to have all this time actually the more i think about this this is such a long list right but you know we know the routine stuff that high blood pressure can affect your eyes your kidneys your circulation and in men you know down there right <laughs> Um, the heart it can cause strokes. We know all of that. Been there, done that. Um, we know that high blood pressure is a silent killer because some people have zero symptoms, like they feel fine and dandy. Especially black people, we feel good till it liquid down, right? You know. Um, but some people do get that. Some people get the headache. Some people feel dizzy. You know, short have a like a shorter breath. Or some people tell you them heart skip a beat. You know. Or them can know when them pressure up, just a feeling, take them over. But the vast majority of people have no symptoms. In other words, you can literally blind, you can literally have kidney problem, and that's when you discover that, oh, wow, you have high blood pressure. Some people, it is their first heart attack or stroke that make them know they have high blood pressure. Now, we're under this quarantine story and all of that, and you know, everybody's stocking up on food and all of that jazz. People with high blood pressure have to be careful about the, the salt content of their food. So for all those people who've been buying salt fish, salt mackerel, salt beef, pig's tail, please do not send up your pressure now, please and thank you. Because you will have to be taking care of yourself at home. You know, so please be mindful of the foods you are consuming. Banana chips, potato chips with all the salt. Please be careful. Like, I wonder if I can say it in a different language. I'm not so fluent. But please be careful with the salt intake. Water is very important. I don't want to spend too much time on water, but water is life, right? Um, and you know, we Jamaican, we know of the many things that help with blood pressure. You have to find out what works for you. Cause what work, might work for one person might not work for somebody else. Some people say garlic. Some people say um, coconut water, the tuna, you know, the cactus looking like plants. Different things have worked for different people. And yes, people have had tremendous relief or reduction in their blood pressure. Now, with the blood pressure there, usually there's it's recorded with two numbers, right? You have that top number and the bottom number. 
and today i'm not really getting into the numbers today because i think my previous video i did that i want to more focus more on the treatment now if you're in quarantine and you can't come out you need to make sure you fill the prescription please fill your prescription you're supposed to have the medication them at home you don't want to run out of your blood pressure medicine even if you're feeling a need it it better to have it than don't have it because you do not know what can happen a lot of our drugs are imported that's a fact of the matter so you don't really want to run out so please i'm begging you please fill your prescriptions have make sure you have the medicine them at home now we spoke about the foods the medicines and all of that i'm going to show you the machine this one see i just bought this one on online right like seriously it's like this one was like 25 dollars. so i don't want no excuses people need to have a machine right so like this is a monitor that's gonna have the numbers on it right and this is the the cuff that you put over your arm it's pretty straightforward and i did a video that show you how to use it you need to get one why because every remedy that you say you're using and it help your pressure how you know it helping how you know it helping the only way you can know with any objectivity and certainty is to monitor it so i have no problem with patients who say oh i don't need medicines i don't need it because my pressure good you need to be telling me that you check it and it really is good and i'm saying aiming for 130 over 80 would be ideal all right when about the top and bottom number now to the meat of the matter now this is the part that if you have a loved one or a friend who have high blood pressure tell them to tune in right now if you really care for your friend them and your family because me gonna share some stuff now that is not typically spoken of at the doctor's office because the doctor don't have this time to spend 15 minutes to explain all of this to you every one of you right let's call a spade a spade so these are the, the most important things i'm saying on this video today high blood pressure you see all those people who not sleep lack of sleep is a major cause of high blood pressure now i've been a doctor for a good amount of years right and i'm sure they probably have it in scientific studies and you know you know you purists who want to say do you show me the scientific studies my scientific studies is the many many patients i've treated all right and there's webmd there are lots of medical websites go knock yourself off if you want to go read that but i'm talking from experience it's the people who don't sleep at night their blood pressure will go up the majority of them you have to get night sleep it's the people who work shift work security guard night managers nurses doctors people who up late at night can't get the rest after a while the blood pressure goes up as important gem for hypertension is sleep this is more than the pill them this is more than the salt in your food sleep and night sleep another important thing about high blood pressure is is rest sleep is very different from rest you know right so you, rest is rest so you have some people who overwork themselves, overstress themselves, right? So you find that their body is always tense because they're always overworked. Their body is never in a state of rest. And think about it. Hypertension. Hyper is high. Tension is tense. So for those people who do not rest, they do not smell the roses. In Jamaica, we don't have that many roses, but smell the hibiscus. You know what I mean? Like, you don't take in some fresh air, do some deep breathing, meditate, go to the beach, go to the river, something. You cannot always be work, 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 work. Busy, 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 busy. Productive, productive. Your, your body always tries to maintain homeostasis, always tries to be in balance. Overworking is excessive. All right? And these are the things that I have found to be directly related to high blood pressure. This is the gen med way, you know. You're not gonna find this information so easy elsewhere. It's just a God honest truth. These are the associations I found. And the last one I'm gonna share with you, 
that tend to cause high blood pressure when people don't have no peace. You see, when you don't have no peace in your mind, in your heart, and in your soul, your blood pressure tends to get high. Somebody aggravate you, provoke you, trouble you, toxic people. That's why I love talk about these things, you know, because I'm like, I, like literally, a patient can come to me and them can say, Ray, doc, you know, my blood pressure, I need medicine. And them saying X, but me know behind X is Y and Z. Behind the high blood pressure, the high blood pressure is just the face of the stress, the lack of peace, the distress that is presenting with high blood pressure. You understand? So maybe you're in an argument. Maybe you just stress somebody. Maybe you are the silent type. Maybe you are the people pleaser. If you keep the peace, you shut your mouth. You just swallow your spit all the time. You are swallow your spit. Maybe you are the control freak. Maybe you are the virago. I don't know. But the long and short of it is that you don't have any peace. You're haunted. <laughs> in Jamaican words, you feel haunted, right? I'm not be you know, that's just me, right? But the point of, of all of this is that if there is no peace, no rest, no sleep is going to be a challenge to control the blood pressure. And the blood goes to every organ of your body. So if the pressure is high going to your eyes, you get a bleed, you get blind. If the pressure is high going to your brain, you get a stroke. If it is high going to your heart, it starts strain your heart and you start get enlarged heart. If it is high going to your kidney, it starts mash up your kidney. If it is high going to your thing a thing, Mr. Man, you start have, what do you call it, dysfunctional, stand it up. If it is high going to the, the blood vessels of your legs, you start have circulation problem. You understand what I say? And blood pressure and diabetes are like brother and sister, them walk together. So the point I'm trying to make is that, yes, it's important for take the pills. Yes, it's important for eat right but you see if you're not control the, the, the stress then you're not getting enough rest mental rest you're not sleep at night it's gonna be a uphill challenge you see for all, all those who love smoke and drink and love and just love eat like there's no tomorrow one of these days your number shall be called you understand what i say in other words here is an opportunity you on lockdown just take one of my advice Stop watch movie late at night and go sleep. You won't be on the pills forever. Yes, there are many people who have come off high blood pressure meds gradually under the guidance and supervision of their doctors. There have been many. Right? Don't you, wouldn't you like that? So these are the things I'm sharing with you from experience. Isn't it a privilege to know these things? No, some people just love the last thing I got say no. Some people come off their medications just brap so. My spirit just tell me not to bother with this pill so I stop it. That is madness. You know how much healthy, healthy men I've seen when I used to be in hospital who would not take no pill. And then when they have to take a bag of pill after the stroke. You know how much people I've met like that? Many, 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 many. So these bad habits we have of just stopping medication are not taking them totally. Have to stop. The only way you can tell me, say you're going to stop medication, is if you have been tracking it with a blood pressure machine and you record it every day. You get a little notebook and you say, all right, Monday, the, the 20th such of this month, it was this in the morning, this in the evening. This is, you get me? And it is important to go to your doctors for checkup. Why is it important? Think I just your money, doctor, love? Not really. The reason is they have to check all of these organs to make sure they're functioning. You prefer to catch a problem when it's early than wait till you're in kidney failure and need dialysis. Than wait till you're paralyzed and can't move. You understand what I'm say? Big and serious now, right? So your checkups every three to six months for refills. It's not just for the doctor to write prescription for three months, for four months. It is for them to to do to write up the forms to send it to go to the lab for check your kidney for write referrals to so check your eyes to do your ecg etc etc so work with your doctor you're under quarantine now this is what a so high blood pressure management should look but it all starts with you so these things i've shared with you right this is like goal right so i want you to know 
apply it to yourself, right? Little by little. I'm not going to say brick palm brick, but you know, little by little, right? Share it with your loved ones. Help them because the high blood pressure thing really, really a mash up a country. Um, I am available for consultations. I'm doing it only by online now because of the Corona story. Not doing much house calls right now. Um, unless, you know, I've triaged it. But it's drgenmed.com. Drgenmed.com. Skype, WhatsApp, um, voice or video calls, depending on the nature. And we can call in our WhatsApp in prescriptions and all of that jazz. So don't worry yourself. But in the meantime, I just want people to keep healthy, you know, because this is one of the diseases I kind of predict is going to increase after the corona, the high blood pressure. You get me? So I want to try the best to use this information I share with you to, to kind of keep your body healthy, as, as healthy as we can. All right. So until next time, be well. If this has been helpful to you, please share it. Because all the people have high blood pressure. So share it, all right? And comment. If you have any questions and if I can help, I will, if I can. And yeah, and be good, all right? God bless. Bye.